it sounds like there might be stuff here for you now. Is that right? Yeah. 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 So whatever that is, can you just let that be there? It's appeared, whatever that is, this emotional energy on the green screen. It might not have been here at the start of the session or it might have been there in the background, who knows. But maybe it's a little bit more obvious or a bit more intense now. But it's appeared and been seen by awareness. Can you see that, Lee? Yeah. Yeah. Can you also see that that awareness is unaffected by it? Yeah. You can. Yeah. Great. And if you can see that, which one would you prefer to go with? <laughs> Two <words>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good question, that one, isn't it? So, so given that, you can see that that's the higher choice. It's obvious, isn't it? Mm. So now that we've kind of got some laughter here and we've recognized that what the mind would like to do is to go into, I am the one that's suffering, that has this emotion, would like it to go away. I wish it wasn't here. It's been a tough week and it might have been. You know, there's no necessarily that denying that experience. But awareness is saying, I am here and choosing that is undoubtedly the higher choice. Make sense, Lee? Yeah. Yeah. So with that awareness, what we can simply allow now using that uh, experience that Mona was talking about there, we can allow whatever's here emotionally, energetically, physically, to be here. In the absolute knowing that awareness is also here and that, that embracing that is clearly the higher choice. Does that sound okay to you? Yeah. Yeah. And in that, accepting that, embracing that, even whilst we're just chatting here now, exploring in the context of this group, stuff might be going on in your body and identity might be trying to get atten your attention, but awareness is inviting just to remain as that to allow whatever's here to be here, to be felt, to be witnessed, to be watched, to be embraced, to be loved, without any judgment, then this simply and eventually effortlessly, Lee, this wave that's here, will fall away and you won't actually have to do anything. Sounds crazy to the mind, maybe, but actually when you've had that experience, it becomes self-evident that that's the case. How are we doing here, Lee? Surprisingly well. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, 
surprisingly well. I'm just like completely focused on, on well, just been in awareness and I can feel myself calming. Great. It's just like, yeah, whereas normally I'd be too in, in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. So did you, so you followed carefully and you were engaged with what I was pointing out there. And I trust everybody else was kind of following that as well. And did you know, you, you, well, you've reported already the effects of that. You could feel a calming. And it wasn't that you were trying to deny that that was there. It was just simply that the focus and the trust was on the awareness and awareness of its own accord is working on the dissolution of the belief in all that noise that's going on. Well, it didn't have any problem with Yeah, yeah, uh, it doesn't have any problem with it and it's, and it's gradually just dissolving the wave and experientially in the body it feels a, a calming effect as you described it there. How powerful is that? I was going to swear that. <laughs> <laughs> we're amongst, we're, we're amongst mind, friends. My mind went into, wouldn't it be amazing if we could get Philip to do like a, like a, a even like a, a 10 second meditation where he's just mini clip that you could just press a button when you go into that thing and you can just connect yeah. <laughs> just to remind you but yeah obviously I can do that myself you can <laughs> you can because because there's a danger there we might say oh well I need Philip to do this yeah. and what what the whole purpose of the pointing here and the whole purpose of these three weekends is to say that which you are seeking, you already have, and all this, this idea of this person called Philip is doing is pointing out that it's already here. And it actually, it's blindingly obvious, as you've clearly seen. Yeah. So this is life changing. Do you see that, Lee? Yeah. It's, is there anything else for you here now? No. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So there you go. That's now, it's not just Philip talking about it anymore. It's become experiential. It's become experiential. Do not underestimate the power of that what you've just experienced and for anybody else what you've just witnessed that is the essence of it in a nutshell anything else lee yeah can i just share that that's made me realize that when maybe i've done a, a zoom before, yeah. if I'd had or been in an experience before, if yeah. I'd had that emotion, yes, I would have been so caught up in what my mind was yeah. trying to describe, right? That I, I wouldn't have been able to to. I could feel like I was just like in the awareness. Yeah, you. brilliant, brilliant. That's just shifted everything. Good. I can't, as I say, I can't overstate the importance of that as a, a pointing, as an experience, as a realization. That is the essence of it. Is that okay for you, Lee? And I'll come to Mona's question. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> thank you.